every now and then, what I like to do is I like to give a reality check to anyone who is on the internet or in ministry of some type that sometimes they think of themselves more importantly than they should. What I like to do is I like to show exactly what we do here so that there is no semblance of pride or some ego that sometimes people think or presume because of any number of reasons that they have that they bring into reading something or seeing something on the internet that they presume that we here are seeking to exemplify or make ourselves out to be something we're not. What we are is a sinner saved by grace. What we do, as you can see, is something very simple. We take the most insane opportunity, the most smallest of all venues, and we go ahead and say, hey, you know what? Let's open up our lives to the Lord our God. Let's let Jesus be the important part. And let's share the reality of who he is in our life. That we don't have to hide anything. That we don't have to close the doors of our minds to the reality that we are an internet-based ministry or that we are into plants. But rather, we could just go ahead and share one-to-one -one who you are. You know, if you're some, like they like to say, if you're like some big, heavy-set person sitting there, you know, eating a burger, you know, and kind of like, you know, porking out and going... Man, look at that guy on the internet. <laughs> He's kind of stupid, didn't he? Well, you see, God sees us where we're at. It doesn't matter whether you're big, whether you're small, whether you're short, whether you're tall. It doesn't matter whether you've got your belly hanging out and you're playing on the internet going, you know, or you think that you're getting away with some extra special key that you can watch porno and just flip over and do your thing. But the reality is, is that God is the one who's talking to you. I mean, come on, folks. It's not about me. I mean, if it was about me, I'd be sitting here going. I could think of a lot of better things to do with my time. That might be one of them. So don't try to hide who you are. Don't try to put on phony airs or to make yourself out to be somebody more than who you are. You're you. God made you you. You're special in the sense that Jesus died for you. That's what makes you special. What God does with you is his own choice. He can make you into a coffee cup if he wants to. And personally, if Jesus was drinking from that coffee cup, I'd want to be the coffee cup. Wouldn't you? <laughs> But when I film this kind of venue, I like to show the reality, you know, of ministry work and some of the things that go on in my life that are important to me as I serve the Lord with all that I have because I don't waste anything. I try to use every opportunity, everything that I have, really, to talk about Jesus. I mean, oh, sure, there's, there's great ministries out there and they take in money and they put out money and they take in money and they put out money and... You know, they look good, but Jesus doesn't really care how you do it. He doesn't care what the end product does. He just cares that you do it, whoever you are, however you are. If you feel like God is leading you into, hey, playing the guitar. See if I can do this without really destroying my camera. And as you can see, my guitar over there. <laughs> 